Hi guys, I would like to show you our new tool, uh, SVG to PNGs. So first download the package from the asset store and after installation, okay, go to the window and just choose the SVG to PNG and that's all. Uh, you should see a, a window like this and just dock it somewhere next to your scene or game, doesn't matter. So first what you have to do is to install these two packages, I mean these two uh, softwares, uh, Image Magic and J Java, Java GDK. And uh, I suppose that uh, please follow the uh, instruction on their pages and mm, it's, it's quite easy. So if you have a 64-bit uh, operation system, then you can check this one and this is a uh, usage of memory that Java is using for the processes generating the, uh, the PNGs so you can leave it as it is if you have enough memory. So, uh, supposing that uh, you did it, uh, that you install it, uh, we will create now a simple uh, Adobe Illustrator uh, Adobe Illustrator file and we will create there um, two or three slices so that you will s you can see how we uh, uh, parse these slices here and how we export them into uh, several uh, textures you need for your games uh, so first uh, open your uh, Adobe Illustrator and create a new file. Uh, give it a name, um, like um, test, for example. Uh, set to width and height, for example, for 1000 pixels. And select the RGB uh, color mode. This is very important because SVG, when you export the Adobe Illustrator uh, format into SVG, they have some uh, color problems. So R RGB is the most safe safest so and click ok now we have a file so let me mm, grab my stylus and i will just draw a simple select a, select a paintbrush here and i will just draw simple images like one two and three as you can see now uh, there is uh, no information about uh, that these images should be in slices or uh, somehow parsed. So we need to put uh, uh, the information uh, for Unity and also for SVG format uh, how these pictures should be handled. So first go to the view and select the height or show slices. I mean you should show them definitely. And uh, also show grid. It helps you to see uh, to see how to slice uh, properly these images. So and now the rest is pretty simple. Go to the slice tool uh, and make slices. One, two, and three. Um, and now go to the again to the slice icon and select the slice selection tool here and select the slice. We need to uh, give a a reasonable or let's say human readable name uh, to, to these slices so select the slice go to the object slices and uh, ooh, slice options uh, give it a name like slice one and the second object okay again slice two and the third one uh, the last one, oh come on, a slice option, slice 3. And we are pretty done. Uh, so you can save your uh, Adobe Illustrator file. So let's say save it. And I would recommend you to save it into your, uh, directly into your unity project so i will create there uh, like um, sources and um, uh, okay, let's, let's test um, i'm sorry 
and let's save it like a test here and let's see okay and that's all uh, well uh, since uh, Adobe Illustrator is a pretty complicated uh, format we need to convert it into something si uh, simpler so uh, the most common format for uh, vector graphics is SVG so you just go to file and uh, you take or choose save a copy and the save a copy is sure uh, you will create you will choose your SVG format and okay let's call it test SVG and okay now here please select the convert to online outline uh, this is really important because when you will use your uh, uh, fonts in your uh, Adobe Illustrator file these fonts needs to be uh, uh, need to be uh, converted into outlines otherwise the SVG format has some kind of problem with it and also what is very important is include slicing data uh, that means these data I mean how big the slice is and where is uh, situated on the big plane uh, on your canvas uh, are included in into SVG so that hits hit OK uh, well, now you have your files here, uh, the SVG and the Adobe Illustrator, and uh, well, you don't have to take care about them anymore, uh, and because the rest is done in our tool. So, uh, just click refresh and you should see the test here. Uh, the example file is just in Fourier row, uh, SVG to PNG, and here are the examples, and you can see it here. So, um, a refresh test example and now you should see uh, the slices here but you cannot oh what's wrong here so please uh, load this SVG file and voila and click the generate button Aha, our slices are here so uh, you can du duplicate your slices but be careful when you take when you push the generate template again all your data will be lost so take care about that so you can delete the slices and sure uh, you can add the slices one and two and three because mm -hmm. so generate okay because sometimes you can duplicate more slices in different uh, width and heights and uh, that's pretty important to duplicate them or to add them uh, as you wish so now um, the def default path is to the textures uh, I mean textures here in the assets and textures you cannot uh, see it here but when I press the G here well let's switch it to the desktop for three times okay and we have a textures here and the slices slice one slice one two x and slice one four x what that what does it mean two x and four x it's like a sd format hd format and full hd uh, format the h is not here because there is no space for that sorry guys well <coughs> Um, shadow you can you can drop a shadow to your texture I'm not sure if it will be visible here or yet but a little bit there is a shadow two pixels to the right uh, in the X X and Y uh, so you can see it here I'm sorry next time I will choose a different color for the uh, for the picture so you, that you can see it more precise so back to the unity so you can switch it off you can switch off like full uh, HD or you can switch it like this and um, or like this and be careful because we have a selection here when I deselect all uh, this won't work so it, it all these uh, this uh, I mean the whole row here is working only uh, for the selected items so you can select all or deselect all so like here yes and that's it okay well now uh, you can apply the prefix or suffix to your file like um, prefix and you can apply it for all and when I generate it now one two three 
Uh, you can see that you have a slices with prefix. Wow, that's pretty nice. No? So, and now why do we have the width and height here? Well, the SVG file as a standard is uh, as its standard is describing is that you can generate from SVG a PNG or JPEG doesn't matter uh, in whatever resolution you want. So, for example, I want to have the SSD, uh, that means a slice without the 1x or 2x, the SD file as a 50 width. Well, w in that case, please put there the zero here. And what that means for our tool is that, okay, I want this texture to be 50 pixels width, in width. And the height will be automatically uh, scaled according uh, to, I mean, to relative to how you change or how you uh, yeah, change the size relative, relative to original width. So when I press G now, one, two, and three, you can see that we have this slice Okay, Sh reveal in Finder, and you see the dimension here, voila! So, and when you take a look, and you can see, and this uh, image is so small, but the quality of the image is the same for three, for all three images. It's completely the same. Now you can see the shadow here, definitely. Yeah. So, and also the opposite is true. So when you put here zero and you put here oh, that you would like to have the height of 100 pixels and you press generate, one, two, and three. So now we should have a file you see 100 pixel hey uh, in height and the rest is uh, just uh, done with our tool so and that's all you can generate all textures with this g please be careful that you have select uh, select you you selected your uh your exported uh, slices and yeah that's pretty all um well let me think about it a bit. One more, uh, or one very important, important thing is save your exports. That means save what you, uh, how you, how you, how you set it here. Just click save, and you see the source is. I mean, the saved file is text.txt, and it uh, it resides next to your SVG file. So when I take a look into your uh, into your source directory, you can see it here, and it is serialized uh, data from our tool. So, and you can always, and when you press refresh and then go back to test, you see that all you, what you had set uh, is stored there. So, you don't have to set it again. Well, and that's probably uh, all I can say to our tool. I hope you and you will enjoy this tool because we use it really in production line, and um, uh, it's it's super super easy to generate a lot on a lot of a lot of uh, a tons of tons of uh, textures and use them in your game. Doesn't matter if you are uh, if you uh, make uh, 3D games or 2D games. Enjoy and see you. Bye bye.